Hey, good afternoon everyone. It's Corey here. Welcome to the video and welcome to the channel. I am here in Akihabara today in Tokyo. Weeb town, as many of you guys know. Um, but behind me is the Tamashi Nations store. And it's kind of a gallery as well. And uh, I wanted to show you guys today this store slash gallery. It's very cool, um, very high-end kind of uh, figures. Um, tamashi basically means like like soul or spirit and um, you know depending on context and how you use it it could mean like an artisan who puts their soul into their work you know the craftsmanship um, the quality the love the care so um, you know th this is a, a toy division um, of Bandai a huge famous toy company so yeah um, let's go check it out guys so this is right outside of Akihabara station and it's actually literally right below the train tracks. You can see the train right up there. Yeah, but this is pretty cool. This is uh, the location of the former Gundam Cafe. So the Gundam Cafe is gone um, because of the pandemic. And now it's the Tamashi Nations store. This place is super cool. Um, before we go in, let me see what's in the display windows outside. They've got a Ultraman here. Very, very, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Um, and they have some Star Wars stuff. I see some Sailor Moon and many, many different anime figures. But we'll, we'll see this when we go inside. It's going to be really cool, I promise. Um, they used to have a huge, oh, it's gone. Okay, they used to have some huge robot statues there. But let's go in and uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and uh, yeah, let's do it. Very cool. Yeah, so this is a SH Figure Arts 15th anniversary gallery, or is it 15th gallery? Yeah, 15th anniversary of SH Figure Arts. So many things. They have, uh, of course, Western brands like Marvel, Star Wars. They have different Kamen Rider, Kabuto. This is the Japanese Beetle. I don't know this one. Cure Dream. Very cool. So if you guys are into figures and models and stuff anime figurines. Um, this is very cool. Darth Vader. Yeah, so I'm about to enter the gallery portion of it, so I believe these ones are not for sale. But, you know, just looking at the models themselves, like the quality is actually really good. You know, you can tell like the plastic is high quality, the, the figures have like very good detail and the colors are rich. Yeah, this is very cool. There's a common writer window here. It's just very, very detailed. Yeah, so these are, I believe, the first, second, and third versions of common writer. Very early, early, early common writer. Not sure what these ones are from. But they still look really cool. Uh, Domon Kashi. Who's Domon Kashi? I don't know. So there's going to be some animes and stuff that I don't know, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. They, it's actually arranged by timeline. So this is 2010. So they show the models that they have from that time period. And as you go further through the gallery space, um, 2009, 2014, I see 2020 down there. It's very cool. The Son Goku. Getting ready for a Kamehameha. Here's uh, Luffy. Oops, did I just hit the camera against the glass? I am so sorry.
very cool that they include the motorcycles too. Check out this one, Blade Blade. Wait, Blade Blade. <laughs> Braid Blade? Is that what that is? I don't know this one, but that looks pretty cool. Uh, these are pretty interesting. It looks like a collaboration between SoftBank and Bondi. Major corporation here in Japan. It's from Stardriver. Kazuma. Getting his fist ready. Uh, check out that dragon behind him. That's very cool. I like this like metallic red with the silver. That just looks really nice. Um, what is this? It's like a vending machine. Of course, there's some Doraemon. Come on, this is so old school. Gokai wow. Red, I like a pirate. Very cool. To make sure I uh, don't miss any, I have to backtrack here to 2009. Momotaro Suimaji. I don't know this one, but this is funny. He's sitting at like a, a table enjoying a cup of something. Wow. QR Dream? QR Dream? Basco and Sadi. Oh, Basco and Sadi. I don't know what these are from, but um, the detail on the figurines themselves, like that's pretty cool. There's a lot going on. Yeah, please leave a comment down below for like the ones that you really like. And even include a timestamp because a lot of these I don't know. <laughs> Wow, check it this out. They've even got a car that's got the full kind of graphics uh, wrapped around here. Full wrap. Pegasus. Man, this guy's got like a huge drill for her leg and a missile for an arm. Also, uh, Power Daisa. Looks really good. Yeah, the quality of these things, very impressive. Iron Man. Check out those blades attached to her hair. Cyborg 009. And of course, Sailor Moon. The Green Ranger, the Dragon Ranger.
Hey, it's from a uh, Kochikame manga. It takes place in Kameari, not too far from Matsudo, where I live. Very neat. Um, oh my god, it's Sadako. <laughs> they even have a TV with a VHS tape on the ground. It's pretty cool. Uzamaki Naruto. Hey, it's the Mario. A lot of these kind of Kamen Rider, like Power Ranger-ish figures. This is actually funny. So it's a, a camera and like a police, like a red siren. This is um, from the beginning of movies in Japan. They tell you not to film the movie because it's illegal for like violating copyright. And uh, they have the guy, the character, the, the camera character, usually like running from the police. It's like a crime drama. They usually play that in the movie theater before the movie starts to tell you, you know, don't film this video. It's pretty funny. Or film the movie. It's Batman Injustice version. It's got a kind of grappling hook. There. Yeah, what do you guys what do you guys think of this place? Um, there's still a lot to see, so I'm going to probably try to show most of the characters here, maybe. Um, and then once we go to the rest of the store, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably have to speed it up a little bit. But yeah, feel free to come back and, you know, pause, rewatch it, or skip different parts. Hey, it's Kim Nikuman. It's kind of a more modern Ultraman. Is this the Shin Ultraman? Oh, I don't know what this one is from. It's a school idol project. Um, what is this? Card Capture Sakura. Okay. Is this like a Transformer card? looks pretty dope and I believe it's his car hey some more familiar characters we've got Jack Sparrow face is pretty good it looks just like Johnny Depp if I zoom in I mean, that's pretty good It's Ryu and Chun Li. That's a pretty cool scene right there. Oh god, it's these guys. Uh, Berutan. They're blue. I thought they were red. Um, is this from Yamato? Yeah, this is from Yamato. Spider-Man, this is from uh, Homecoming, the costume. Hall of Armor, this is pretty cool because it actually has like a display case that it's standing in. Another Ultraman, kind of more modern one that I don't know. Let's go to the other side here. We've got Harry Potter. Uh, King Mickey from Kingdom Hearts 2. Game Center is this from a commercial? It's the ki guy from a commercial. That's funny. Jaguras? Jagura, I don't know. It's Goku on the cloud. <coughs> pretty cool. And adult Goku. Base form. Cheryl Gnome. Little 
ゼロツー。These guys from TV. <laughs> What? Not sure who that is. Yoko Fuchigami. And Spike from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, it's from Ant-Man and Wasp movie. Damn, that's crazy. Iron Man Mark 85. This is from Conan, right? There's Ray. Ouch, it looks all bloody. This one's pretty crazy and wild. Suddenly there's like a lot of people in here. Wonder Woman? Batman, uh, Michael Keaton Batman from 1989. Hamashi Girl Aoi. Nice detective Conan. Oh, it looks like Tony Stark. Here's a special clear color version of Ultraman. Is it? Where is she from? And luckily these uh, people kind of look at it really quickly, faster than I am. Uh, this is from Uma Musume. This is Deadpool. Famous actor who does samurai movies, I think. His face looks very familiar. And it's Buzz Lightyear. And his armor looks really good. I do not know this guy. This is, uh, what's her name, Anya, from uh, Spy Family. Was it Gash, Gash, and Gash Bell? I don't know who this is, but it looks funny. Even the arms have like the motion streaks on them. Black Sun, Kamen Rider, that's pretty sick. Frontman? This is all from Squid Games. Uh, what is this? Pick something edition. Body Chun. It's just a blank body. There's a Zeng Kaiza. That's pretty cool with the rainbow colors on there. You look over here, we've got Frieza in ultra base form. He's pointing, pointing at the Saiyajins. Uh, these are so cool. So Pac-Man as well. Yeah, Bandai, they just make really good stuff, and I'm glad that they have a, a like a high-quality version of their toy division, the Tamashi Nations. Yeah, this is uh, from The Mandalorian. This is, uh, I forget what his name is. But he ends up helping 
There's a guy. This is cool. The detail. Very nice. And we've got Goku just eating. <laughs> this is actually a thing. Yeah, these are not for sale. Okay, and um, last window here. Chainsaw Man. We've got Black Adam. Uh, Sureta Makuri. Oh, this is uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Is this from Elden Ring? It is. It's Kamen Rider with a coat on. That's cool. And we've got Carnage. Carnage looks pretty sick. Hide from Rocket Dive. Is this Hide? That looks like Hide. Yeah, so they have pretty cool space here. Showing about all the different stuff, like the planning phase. And showing like, you know, mock-ups and then they make like little alterations or descriptions about the way the figure is going to look. And then they do development. They have like prototypes start looking at like how the, the pieces fit together and see if there's any issues what needs to be fixed so you can see in the first phase first prototype and then it works its way through then they fine-tune it that's pretty cool that they show this whole process here and the rest of the gallery space some more stuff over here more common writer Super Sentai. Don Momotaro. That looks cool. These ones are for sale. Yeah, Zeng Kaiser. Rainbow Pose. This one's 6,600 yen. I look over here, more different common writer ones. I'm gonna just kind of skim these because there's just like way too many to look at. It's starting to get to the point where um, we just have so many different models coming up. I'm just gonna kind of highlight them like this. That's super cool. What do we got over here? Uh, looks like placeholders. Right now the models are not there. So here's cool uh, autographed thing. That's cool. This display case here is super cool. They've got every iteration of Kamen Rider plus the motorcycles that he rides. Ah, that's so cool. Even the car. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> See, there's like this mock-up little thing here. They've got a barrier, so you can't walk into it. But uh, looks like clothing, and it has uh, kind of collaboration stuff. So, for example, 
this figure here and they've got the matching color on the shoes those are pretty neat more over here black sun on this motorcycle Some more Ultraman this is from uh, the new generation Ultraman new generation stars so yeah this is uh, the newer series I just I don't know anything about this at all I've never seen it but if you guys have seen it, let me know in the comments down below. You can see some of the prices. These things are between like 3,000 yen to like 7,000 yen. I love the city backdrop behind them. It looks like a picture of like Odaiba or something. <laughs> Somewhere out there. Wow, they even have the scale models of like a some kind of industrial factory. That's pretty cool. Too bad they don't have the, the enemy kaiju right there next to him. It looks like uh, maybe they're sold out. Karumia, uh, Karumira and Trigger Truth. This must be a scene from one of the, the episodes maybe or movie, I don't know. This is more of what I grew up watching here, the, the old school, original versions. But it looks like uh, this one's not here right now. Very retro. Um, let me go over here. It looks like they're showing, uh, they're showcasing about the 3D modeling of the face. So they do like a 3D body capture of the real person superimposed high quality image of the face to the figure and then they print it out. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like Elon Musk. <laughs> so yeah, here, TM Revolution. Now we saw this one earlier, the Hide, famous rock star Hide. So if I look closer, yeah, that's his face. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Hitoshi and Masatoshi. <laughs> Very cool. And I like that they have Osaka as the backdrop since they're from Osaka. Unfettered Shogun. Here's more kaiju, all kinds of different kaiju. Oh, sorry, that's a reflection. I was like, what am I looking at? That was creepy. Yeah, these all seem to be about 7,700 yen. I see some that are like 8,000 or 9,000 yen. But roughly in that ballpark range. This is a very cool display case right here. Full on Star Wars. Got all different types of stormtroopers here. All the different weapons. Um, from the different movies, yeah, combat, assault tank commanders, uh, this one's from Rogue One. We got the heavy gunners. Got stuff from the, the Last Jedi. Rise of the Skywalker. Yeah, these, uh, the Praetorians, the elite ones. These are really cool. They even have Captain Phasma.
looks super nice. Of course, we've got Boba Fett. This is uh, the Boba Fett from the original movies, not from uh, the book of Boba Fett. I can see here uh, the Emperor, the Titan, and uh, there's Vader. Well, behind him is there, I see Kylo in the corner there. Oh, Dooku. Dooku was one of my favorites. Count Dooku, look at him. Christopher Lee. The Master. Django Fett. Darth Maul. Oh, we got the Clone Troopers. Mimbomb Stormtrooper, nice. And over here, Han Solo, old Harrison Ford, old Mark Hamill, BB 8. These all seem to be about 6,000 yen roughly for all of these figures. And there's uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And of course Anakin. Oh, they got the, uh, what is it? Yeah, KS, uh, K2SO. Yeah. are funny. Cool. Mace Windu. There's another Marvel display here. These are all the different things for Iron Man. Wow. Check out this this whole display first of all. That's kind of cool. Got the tank uh, Hulk Buster. Not tank Buster. Hulk Buster. All the different marks. Mark 46. Mark 17. Mark 20. There's a cool one with blue stealth color. There's a black one with gold. Oh, and they've got the great scene. I am Iron Man. Here's some more. Uh, oh, this isn't from The Mandalorian. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually rewatching it. Uh, so I'm almost through season two again for the second time. I'm just trying to catch up again before I jump into season three. Because I want to make sure that the info and the story is like fresh in my mind. Because it's been a while since uh, season two ended. We had to wait like over a year, right? So yeah, just kind of refreshing my memory. And then I'll be able to start uh, season three very, very soon. Nice, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Can't wait for the next season to come, but they need to fix the writing on this one. <laughs> okay, we've got more of the Miles Morales, um, Spider-Verse, Spider-Man. And Spider-Gwen. And there's like, Kind of drum and bass background music is funny. It's from No Way Home. Ooh, it's the Green Goblin. Does that look like Willem Dafoe? Yeah, it kind of does. His armor is pretty cool. Yeah, Venom, let there be carnage. Ah, oh, this is so cool. In the comics, Carnage is just so sick. But I mean, so is Venom. But in the comics themselves, man, Carnage was just like on a whole different level. It's like, good God. Um, Festering Fingerprint Vike. Yeah, this is from, uh, from Elden Ring. Oh, they don't have Gohan Beast. It's just a placeholder. That's a shame.
This is a pretty cool scene. Chainsaw Man, Samurai Sword, and Chainsaw Man. It looks like they're fighting here. What is playing behind me? Oh, oh, it's the Elden Ring thing. I just heard some epic music suddenly start. I was like, what is going on? It's cool they're highlighting the figure. All right, this last window here, uh, oh, it's Ichigo. There's a Sukuna. Very cool gallery space, huh? Okay, and then uh, over here is more store stuff. I think we kind of saw this, but uh, we didn't see this, this Eva. It's got the Spear of Cassius. And that's pretty cool. Godzilla Fourth Night Combat version. More Kamen Rider and, oh no, these are all Ultraman, sorry. But we do got Thor in the foreground here. It's kind of hard with the the ground is lit up for the case. Mighty Thor. And here's Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett. It's even got uh, the throne there. Oh. There's another display case over here. These are cool. Wow. This is a VF31AX and it transforms into this. That's badass. This is so cool. Shingetter 1. Wow. The big wings. King Joe, 55th Anniversary Edition. And this is super nostalgic. Space Sheriff Gavan and Sai Badian. Like, I'm pretty sure I had this toy, like the original toy back in the day. There's some small kind of chibi ones. Chibi characters. A high metal R. I think that's what this is from. It's more of the store. Um, we've got chibis from, uh, looks like uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer. It's about 3,000 yen, roughly for each of these. I see some in the back that are like 6,000. Wow, check out this Nezuko. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, they've got the Eva figure here, the one we saw in the display case. 7,150 yen. So this is more of the store for the items that we just saw. Dragon Shiryu. These are cool. Dragon Shiryu. I love their gold armor. Gundam. Different Evangelion. Uh, oh, we've got this Princess Serenity limited edition. This is 6,600 yen. This is very pretty. Naruto. 
We got the old school Mazinger. And some Tamashi Nation merch. Kind of bracelet, mugs, and enamel pins. There's a mouse pad here. Uh, you can get, even get some shirts. Tamashi Nations. Oh, I dropped it. My bad. Let's see what this other case has. That's Squid Games characters. Oh, it's the ship from uh, from Buzz Lightyear. Mazen Kaiser SKL. Twenty-four thousand yen. So these are the Demon Slayer figures that we saw. Okay, and then some last figurines. It's kind of hard to see. What are these? Charlotte Ringman. Wow. It's crazy. Ooh, this is pretty. So we've got Princess Serenity and Princess Endymion. Can I zoom in on that? Yeah. Eternal Sailor Moon. Sold out, 2,970 yen. Mizutsune. Ultraman Tiga Multi-Type. That's pretty cool. Let's see this horse. What is this from? Eisei Shutsujin. These are storage bangles from Barnaby Brooks. Looks nice. Barnaby Brooks Jr. I don't know this uh, anime at all. <laughs> they have uh, collaboration with Lawson Convenience Store and Bandai. It's kind of cool. And I believe there's two more display cases here to look at. This is Gundam. Gigant. <laughs> from 1972. Or Uma Musume. More of the Supreme Gold Saints. About 1,100 yen each. Kamen Rider. Oh, there's, there's a few more things here. Gundam Death Scythe. 33,000 yen. The details are really cool. Like, if you zoom in, you can see, like, all the different, like, markings and, like, text on there. The detail is good. Noble color version. Oh, no, wait. That's this one, the noble color version. That's sick. I love the wing design. Did I see this one? Oh, I didn't see this. Uh, looks like Uma Musume. It's pretty cool. They have a glitter stage thing with a kind of concert lights in the background. Some each. 
Yeah, I was trying to show that window, but there's a lot of guys taking pictures. Aha, here. This is from One Piece, right? Yeah, check her out. She's huge. It's like 12 inches high. Shanks and Tita. On the other side here. Very cool. Now let me go look at that last display window now that everyone left. Gun Gun Ariel. Freedom Treaty Weapon Set. And this one's really cool. Strike Noir Gundam. Alternative Strike Version. It's black. This one's 30,000 yen. Wow. Yeah, so that's it. That's... That's all uh, there is to this store, the Tamashi Nation store here in Akihabara. Yeah, uh, thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little tour of the Tamashi Nation store here in uh, Akihabara. Um, I know it wasn't like a store store, but it kind of was, but it was more of a gallery, I think. Um, a lot of that stuff, the craftsmanship is like top notch, very, very nice. Um, yeah, if I ever had like the space or the money to collect some of that stuff, I definitely would. Um, but I don't, so at least we can come here, look at this stuff. At least I can record some video for you guys um, around the world, and you guys could check this out yourselves on my channel. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Stay tuned for more store tour videos from here in Tokyo and elsewhere around Japan. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.